Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on polygons. In the hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F, BC is parallel to ED. So we can see that the line BC is parallel to the line ED and DC is parallel to EF. So we can see the DC line is parallel to the line EF. Angle DEF is 109 degrees and angle EFA is a 95 degrees. Angle FAB, so this angle, is equal to the angle ABC. So these two angles are going to be same. Find the size of angle EDC. So they want us to find out the angle EDC which is over here. Now to find out this angle EDC, we are going to make use of the given parallel lines that is EF and DC. So these two lines are given parallel to each other and ED is a line acting as a transversal which is cutting the line EF and DC at point E and point D. So as we can see here angle E and angle D are acting as the co-interior angles of the parallel lines EF and CD. So if they are co-interior angles then we can write them as angle E plus angle D. They will add together to give 180 degrees. Now angle E is given as 109 degrees. So we will substitute in place of E plus angle D is equal to 180. So we get the angle D as 180 degree minus 109 degrees. So that is going to give us an angle D of 71 degrees. So we got the angle E D C as 71. Now let us look at the second part of this question. This is the same hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F that we had solved for part A and the angles are same. Angle F, A, B is equal to angle A, B, C. So angle F, A, B is given equal to angle A, B, C. So if I take the angle A as X, then angle B is also going to be X. Find the size of angle FAB. Now we have to find out what is the angle FAB equal to. Before we find out the angle A, let us find out the angle D and angle C. Angle D we had got in the part A as 71 degrees because of the co-interior angles. Now let us find out what is angle C. We can see that BC is a line parallel to ED. And CD is a line acting as a transversal between the two parallel lines BC and ED and it cuts the two lines at point C and point D. So angle C and angle D are acting now as the co-interior angles. So we can find out angle C as angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Now we have angle D with us which we found as 71 degrees. So we have angle C as 180 degrees minus 71 which is 109 degrees. So now we got the angle C as 109. Now we can use the sum of interior angles of this polygon that is the hexagon and the formula which we are going to use to find out the interior angle of this polygon is sum of interior angles of a polygon is equal to n minus 2 times 180. Here n stands for the number of sides of the given polygon. Now the number of sides for the given polygon since it is a hexagon is 6. So let us find out by taking n as 6. So 6 minus 2 times 180. So we get it as 4 times 180 or it is 720 degrees. 
So the total interior angles, that is when we add all the angles of this hexagon, we get it as 720 degrees. Now as we know that we have to find out the angle FAB. Now let us add all the angles and equate it equal to the interior angle 720. So now we have the angle A as X, angle B as X, angle C as 109. So let us just add them up. X plus X plus 109 plus angle D was 71 plus angle E is 109 and angle F we have it as 95 degrees and these all will sum up to 720 degrees as we got using this formula. So now X plus X gives us 2X plus let us add up all these numbers. 384 is equal to 720. So now we have 2x is equal to 720 minus 384 which gives us 2x is equal to 336. So now we have x equal to 336 divided by 2 which gives us an angle equal to 168 degrees. Now here we had taken the angle FAB as x degrees. So now in place of x we can write angle FAB is equal to 168 degrees. So this is how we find the angle of the given polygon. Hope you have understood all the steps and liked my video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.